Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's me, Jesse. Today, we're gonna to be doing an update on our red Pakistan mulberry cuttings. It's been exactly one week since we took them, and we're gonna go ahead and see how everything went. To start off with, we have our cuttings that were what I call the optimal diameter. They're like a little bigger than a number two pencil and up to the size of maybe a ring finger or pinky in diameter. We rooted those in water and we also rooted those in our miniature greenhouse. I talk about this miniature greenhouse a lot on my channel because that's how I like to root cuttings and I have a pretty good success rate with it. What we see here when we look at it and we look at this group, this group that was rooted in water with aspirin we got a little bit of foliar growth. We don't have very much in the way of root growth. We have this right here that looks like it can be the start of a root, but we don't have that much in root growth or foliar growth out of this set. Let's look. There might be some little tiny roots starting in here, but this one also has a little bud right there, but there's not much in the way of foliar growth, that's leaves. Let's look at this little piggy. I can't see anything in the way of root growth. At this node, there's possibility right there, but we're not sure. But there's absolutely no budding happening on that cutting. Now let's look at this one. This one has potential root growth right in there. Ah, you see it? That white right there? I don't see much coming out of the end. There might be a little root right there, possibly. Not sure. And it has foliar growth, meaning leaves are growing here on the end. So one out of three of these cuttings seems to be producing something after one week. Now let's look at our greenhouse. Man, there's a difference, isn't there? In our greenhouse method, we've got two cuttings that have a significant amount of foliar growth going on. And if you look inside, you would see there's some more budding going on at the bottom of some of these cuttings. Something's going on in there. It's trying to grow. Now, if you recall, when I did the last video, there is a downside to doing the greenhouse method in this way. What is it? Well, the downside is that you can't see the roots unless you take off the bag and you disturb your cutting. But we don't want to do that. Those roots are just babies. They're seven days old, if they exist at all. But, there's a way that we can check on what's going on with those roots. Do you remember that we had another set that we were doing in water? I dumped the water just before this video, and please remember, I had been changing the water periodically on both of these sets of cuttings. But when you are rooting in water, you need to give them air. You can use a bubbler, but you do need to give them a, a little bit of air every now and then uh, to let the roots have some air. So I'm going to be putting more water in here, uh, but I just dumped it before this video. But if you look, you'll see that these cuttings, this one has a little tiny baby root right there. There's one root sticking up. If you got anybody used to watch the little rascals, one of those little rascals was named Alfalfa. He always had that one hair that stuck up. Well, this guy has a little hair, a little root. Right there, it's, it's kind of white colored. Right there, that's a root coming out. So this guy is trying to take a root in the water. As far as foliar growth though, he has nothing at the top. That's kind of dying. He has this bud here. That bud looks like it's dying. 
Let's put him back in there. Let's see if anybody else in here. Here's another guy. He doesn't have very much going up top either. And he doesn't have anything going on down below. So out of these two sets that we did in water, this guy right here, he's got something going on up top. Here's another guy with something on up top. But neither of these two guys has anything happening down below. Okay. But we need to get roots. You don't just want leaves to grow on your cuttings. You want roots. So how can we check what's going on with our roots? Well, in this group, we know we have one in this set and one in this set that have grown baby roots. But over here, we see foliar growth. These things look like they're much healthier than these guys, don't they? These are much more healthy than these guys. But how can we know what's going on with the roots without disturbing them? Well, do you remember? I also did a peekaboo cup. Can you see me? I did the peekaboo cup with the greenhouse method. And look at what we can see. We definitely see foliar growth going on, just like this one. These guys over here, the foliar growth that's happening here, the leaves, they're kind of sad. They're not really doing much. This one, he's got a decent looking leaf set on him. But if you look at the greenhouse, you can see significantly better. Significantly better. Foliar growth. Those leaves are growing. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'm going to show to you. I'm going to prove to you what I'm talking about. But before we get there, I want to show you this guy. This is the red Pakistan mulberry that we got our cuttings from. Do you remember I told you that one of the English Bulldogs I have got a hold of it and I had to do an emergency pruning and that's where we got all of these cuttings from? He had chewed it up. He chewed it up. And I had to cut here, I had to cut here. I had to cut in a lot of places, I had to cut here. I had to cut down here. And in just about every place that I had to cut, just below it, the buds are blooming. You see that bud blooming? And it's not blooming with flowers, it's blooming with new growth, foliar growth. Now this guy here, I don't see any buds on him yet, but just about everywhere else where I had to cut, right below the cut, there's new foliar growth. I had to cut here and that just shot out like nobody's business. Foliar growth. So this parent red Pakistan mulberry is still in the pot. And I'm gonna be planting it when the weather gets a little bit warmer. Um, we had a few days below freezing, well, excuse me, a few nights below freezing and it would get above freezing during the daytime here in zone 9A in January. Even tonight, it's going to be in the low 30s, but the wind chill is going to put it in the 20s. Most mulberry trees can absolutely take freezing temperatures. But the Pakistan mulberry, in particular the red Pakistan mulberry, is more susceptible to cold than any other variety I've ever dealt with. I've got white Pakistan mulberries that are growing mulberry trees that are growing in, in ground. No problem. I've got ever-bearing mulberries growing in the ground. No problem. But my red Pakistan mulberry, when the when temperature got to the single digits, the one that I had prior to this guy, it died. So I'm going to take care of this guy during this winter. And I do believe once I plant them in ground and take care of them when the cold hits again, I'll be able to manage but I just don't want to put that stress on them when there's no good reason right now. We can wait until the end of February or the beginning of March to plant him in the ground. But 
now back to our reveal. I mentioned to you that there's a way that I know the roots are growing on these guys. And I'm talking about actual roots. And I know it without even having to disturb those roots from growing. Aha, peekaboo, I see you. Using a clear or semi-transparent cup. Can you see right in here? I'm gonna press. There's a long root. It's kind of white in color. If you were to use a clear cup, you could see it better. I like the semi-transparent ones. I don't know, I just feel like it makes the roots more comfortable. But it's right there. That white root coming down. If you can't see it, maybe I'll take a photo or try to zoom in so you can really see it clearly. Here I am zooming in so you can see those roots. You see them right there? Right there, that's our proof that we have roots. And there are more little roots coming in here, but this one is kind of obvious and apparent, right? It's telling up, and it's two inches long, maybe even three inches long. That means it's working. We're gonna have a tree out of this cup. And the same thing that's going on in this cup is going on in this pod. And this is only after one week. We're gonna keep these like this until March, six weeks. Now, of course, if the roots are just going crazy in here and I have to take it out early, I will and I'll share that with you. But in the meantime, the plan is to wait until March and let them keep growing until then. Can you imagine what those roots will look like? There'll be a bunch of new trees. Because when life gives you lemons, you can always make lemonade. I'm gonna keep watch on these, but if I don't see much growth in the meantime, I might change up what we're doing with these. I'll let you know about that as well in another video. Again, this is Jesse, and you've been helping watching the Healthy Garden channel with Jesse, and you've been helping me a lot as well. Please subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, leave a like, and leave comments. I'd love to know what you'd like to see next. Until then, Healthy Garden. Wow. <laughs>